So that is that is sure. And um, hopefully, we hope is the hope is gonna be lit up with people having fun. Uh, but so far, activities are not as it used to be. Um, so spending my Christmas with colleagues, with friends, with family. Um, it's been a very busy year. An amazing time to catch up with people I haven't been able to catch up with through the year. So it's mainly been quality time with the people that I miss the most, essentially. So what would be? Of course, we saw the Christmas celebrations. Everyone get for Monday the 25th, and it's time to bring you the latest in the world of entertainment. Of course, my name is Theophila Selema. My co-host is here with me, Ade Banke Odumi. Of course, she did that report you just watched. How was it celebrate, meeting people who are celebrating the Christmas at that end? Well, it was definitely refreshing that people still want to celebrate in spite of things that are happening in the country, insecurity, the prices of food stuff and everything going mm -hmm. higher and higher and higher and everything and all. But everyone was complaining that things are so expensive and asking the government, our government, please oh, help us that next year so that Christmas next year will be better. So just, I mean, it was refreshing. People went there, took pictures. I'm sure you saw the people that were standing in the middle of the road. Yes, they wanted to yes. get the ultimate perfect shot because at that spot there is one there's the arch yeah. of the uh christmas dec de decoration and all and they wanted to get that picture and that that place always decorated every year every, every year every year every and everybody year. goes there it's like a tourist attraction now. yeah i yeah. give kudos to the team that that does it the yeah. um every year they come correct and True. it's not the same it's, it's not the same um decoration every year they vary yeah all right so um on a sad note, at this point, um, Nigerians this morning um, were aware of the death of veteran actor Dejimo Lewis. It was announced in the wee, wee hours of the day, of course, by uh, none other than Saeed Balogun this morning on his Instagram page. And may his soul rest in perfect peace and may his family find comfort in these trying times. <laughs> Well, may he so rest in perfect peace, of course. Mm -hmm. We'll miss his um, wealth of experience in mm -hmm. the industry. Of course, he was a broadcaster, worked with NTA Badon. For about five years before being posted to Lagos, and he, had, he was in various, various um, Nollywood uh, movies. And, of course, uh, the younger generation will miss his wealth of experience mm -hmm. in the sector. All right, so on the program today, we have a comedian, an actor who not only brings gladness to our hearts, or to the hearts of his audience rather, but he's also a minister of God who uses his talents and platform to promote the gospel of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Bayegun Oluwatuni, popularly known as Woli Aroli. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Wait, awesome. minister of God. minister of God. All right, so... First of all, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Of course, uh, you, you, you heard when we were talking about um, Dejimo Lewis. Yes, yes, yes. What has been your fond, fondest memories of him? Um, I think he's quite legendary. Yeah. You know, when I heard about the news, I was actually this when I was like, wow, we lost an icon. Uh, then I, another thing I think I love about him is his life. You know, you rarely hear anything yes. about him until death. Yes. Yes. That's yes. just, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. No issue of it's drama, no, you know, he, he just loves to do his job well, do his acting, goes with his family, as in, I just pray that God give the family the fortitude to bear the loss, you know. Yeah, that's true. So, as um, a comedian, yeah. an actor, a thespian, you are also a pastor, or a minister of God. <laughs> <laughs> How, why, why did you decide to tell this line? Because I know that, so a, a lot of times you, you say you're an apostle at the workplace. Yes. How do you, why do you decide to mix all of this? Uh, so, uh, to me, I didn't, it's not like I decided to. Uh, it's, it's a call in me. Okay. Uh, the, I didn't go for it. It went for me. You know, mm -hmm. I, I believe everyone is born for a purpose. Just like the way you're doing broadcast, broadcasting, the way she did her interview. You, you know that this thing is just you. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm that guy that I, I operate on two legs. 
as a comedian, as an actor, I have that gift, and I have a very prophetic gift. So I pray God answers. I see beyond my two eyes. I hear audible voices beyond my ear. Oh, very well, clear. And the <coughs> most interesting part is even people that are my clients, people that call me for events and all of that, they still reach out back to me for prayers. Wow. And so it's, it's interesting, you know, and the, the, the two functions well because both is for impact. Mm -hmm. When somebody comes to meet you, he's sad, he's unhappy, you make them happy. If, if somebody comes to meet you for prayer, you pray and God solves them. So at the end of the day, the two leads to one point, mm -hmm. impact, happiness, joy. I saw a, a skit you did, something about prayer from Sapa. So yeah. are you saying that if I come now and pray, <laughs> of course, Sapa will leave you? Oh, he has no choice. Let's see after. Yes. Yeah, so. well, in 2019, you produced a movie, The Call. The Call. I'm, I mean, I watched the movie and I have yeah. to say that it was good. But I want to know, how was your experience? Because it was your first movie, your first production. Oh, quite first, um, quite tedious from the angle of... Uh, you know, finance, I had someone that, you know, had an investor and all of that. Also, a new part for me, at, as at that time, I didn't really go into the cinemas. There were no more cinemas at, the time. at that time till now. We had to sell it. Uh, but I think it's one thing I did that I'm really excited I did it because I wanted that expression of myself as an actor and as it's because. So I was an actor on the set and also the executive producer. And you, you, you involved your mom? Yes! So it, it's kind of a beautiful experience for me. We had the challenges. We had to shoot. You know, Aguero will come. You know, yeah. The normal, typical experience of every movie that you want to shoot. Or it was wi widely accepted within and outside Nigeria. So I think that experience really shaped me to... People saw another me that people never thought they could see. And until today, till, till I was in Ghana a few days ago, and I, I saw someone tell me, I really, I watch your movie. And that's what I was saying. Uh, you know, it touched me, changed my life. My family watched it. I got, God spoke to me through it. So it, it's good when you just do something and it's beginning to leave a legacy. Do you have plans to do any more movies? Mm, a lot. Mm. A lot of stuff. I'm going heavily into production. Okay. In fact, I'll be doing movies that might not be even involved in it. Just, you know, just do it. Executive produce. Some I'll do a few scenes. Oh, very much. Very much. In fact, I'm intending to work with a lot of creative. You have a script. You're, very, very much. Production is movie is part of me. It, I'm going to do it a lot. Even have a film village where people shoot okay. big time. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, do, you, do you also mentor young comedians as well? Yes, I do. I do. I, that, that some people, like Bleach, is my guy. Yeah. Uh, so, we, we work together. I, I meet these people, encourage them the best way I can. Uh, Ashuri is my brother. You know, we talk together. So, I have a couple of comedians like that that we talk, young ones, they are called this show. I was part of some. I even give them money for the show, okay. buy ticket. I, I feel it's just beautiful to support one another. Speaking of young, of being of youth, yeah. what would you say to young uh, Oluwatoyi? You introduce yourself to me, Oluwatoyi. I'm going to yes. stick yeah. with that. What would you say to young Oluwatoyi? Because after ah, you deep. were, after the Alibaba show, yeah. you have experienced immense growth since then. So research about me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, um, what would you say to young Uluwa Twain? So, if I see a young Uluwa Twain now, maybe he's seated there, I'm here, I'll beg him, number one, don't give up. Okay. That's it. I will, I will beg him, please, don't give up on your dreams. Whatever thing you're doing, pursue it. Mm. I will tell a young Uluwa Twain that success is not religious. Mm. As much as I'm, I'm a prophet, yeah, I'm a faith person, I have a ministry, oh, but no, it's not. There are principles that guide it. Mm. Once you click those principles, it will work for you. It will, and one of it is hard work. God cannot bless you beyond your level of work. He won't do it. It's not a magic chance. Okay. okay, so let's talk about what you recently <coughs> experienced. Uh, yes. Fake soup. <laughs> fake anointing. I, I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this. But there are four, there are four <laughs> crabs <laughs> on the seafood. You know, let me tell you something. All those online men there. They tell don't worry. The package of seafood okra is twenty five thousand. Is when we saw the we saw four penny we queen inside, <laughs> madam, and they write it non refundable. See, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But do you know that? Have you ordered online? That is not what you ordered. That you got. Have you? Yes. yes. Even clothes. We all, yes. Clothes. We have not experienced it. I, I wept too. I said, "What is that? <laughs> it's, it's terrific. I will be lost." And you know what annoys me? Does they will, when they want to sell, 
they will give you a picture, a video of what you should expect. Yes. Cloth, food. So you are salivating mm. already. Mm. When they bring the uh, seafood, or crow, you might even ask the person that dropped it, delivery man, did you taste out of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that one is just, because sometimes you buy a cake. And I remember my friend bought something from a particular eatery some time ago. I won't mention their name. And normally it's about eight in the park. He came and only saw four. <laughs> so it was like it's going there to meet them that somebody ate out of his See, food. So our people need to be very reliable. I'm telling you. <laughs> somebody needs to be arrested well, for my, this. My, Apart from the soup, I'm talking about my own concern as well is the anointing oil. You, yes, sir. It yes. was engine oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Well, if me, even you, you know, the when I saw, I realized that you're rigid. I'm going to come and say, "So we lost cannot do the thing." Ah, these people are terrible. Like they are. Do you know? Do you know what it means to do fake drinks? Yes. A lot of process. Like, do you know what it means? They will get the, almost the same can. Yeah. Yes. Almost the same logo. And Put the it. same color of the drink. Yes. I was telling a friend of mine that just yesterday. I bought a drink, I drank it, and the taste was off immediately. And since then, I've been having like stomach issues. Well, so we'll, we'll, we'll still talk about all of this, but yeah. we need to go on a quick break. All right. And when we return, we'll still talk about this issue of fake products That's and right. other issues. Yeah. All right, stay tuned. We'll take a quick break. Let's get it. Are you ready? Brace up for the event of the season because Greater Lagos Fiesta is back. Get ready for a display of culture and talent from the 29th to the 31st of December 2023. Five different locations Agege, Ekwe, Wadagri, Ikorodu, and a 2024 countdown party at Soul Beach with the biggest artists and the biggest songs of 2023. Wait, there's even more. There will be lots of fireworks, dance, comedy performances, cultural exhibitions, games, and many more. Come with your squads and let's have non stop fun because it's about to be a lituation showing live at this station tstv channel 198 and go tv channel 49 don't miss out yes you're watching tvc breakfast saturday and we're at the, on the entertainment segment this morning and we still have Wuli Arole in the studio we're talking about fake things now uh, just recently, um, Navda got wind of fake products yeah. in the market. Several of them, and it, so it's so surprising and terrible. shocking that these things are in the market. Yet, we've seen that it is. It seems like the relevant agencies are overwhelmed mm. in handling them. Uh, what's your take on all of this, now? Firstly, is I, I feel that part of the problem of Nigeria are Nigerians. Trust me sincerely. Because, so the issue with me is not the fake product. The issue with me is the effect that anybody that engages such a product will have on their health. Like, this is what people drink. I've not seen that. I've been seeing wickedness. This is a wickedness raised to power four. You don't understand. So I feel that those perpetrators, paraventure somebody has a younger brother, a sister that is a sell of, you manufacture fakeness, and fake you make drugs. it. Please, as you are watching me, just... Just repent and just stop. stop. You can't put our ah, Esa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's no fake prayer. <laughs> Where will you have run to? I'm, it's scary. You know, people are now scared yeah. of the drinks. Mm -hmm. So even the fakeness, you can't say, me, I'm not, a, I don't take alcohol. If, if, the, if you take alcohol, there's the fake one. Non alcoholic, there's the fake one. The food, there's, you don't get it. Yes. But do you think that even, because... even people that do red lips now, nah, you know they used to buy <laughs> Have you seen them other than the yeah. red people lips? People lips, you know? <laughs> lips. It has become chocolate lips now. <laughs> ah. But do you think it's because Nigerians have a, a habit of managing things that ah, let's just manage. Now let's this just has gone too far. Uh, let's just, but, I mean, I, I feel think? It's, I think I feel is the wickedness of stuff. People are just cruel. No, it's for real. They just it's, want to make money. Thank you. It's the desperacy of people to want to. Because it's too much. It's almost in every day life of what we do. Mm -hmm. you, you know, yeah. have, you, have you got product before? And you just, maybe the, it, it, maybe the logo is faint that 
You're yeah. like, madam, when, you know, it's scary. It's a different thing for a product to be, try to get expired. So you ask, but you see a product and you're like, ah. This is not it. And they package it well. That's my greatest thing. You know. They will feel it. <laughs> they put the button on. <laughs> Everything. Oh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> we we'll now, we'll now take the expiry date forward. Hmm. Ah. May God help us. It's quite, it's quite a situation. But uh, looking at the industry in uh, yeah. the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. comedy sector, yeah. how would you describe it over the years? It's evolution, transition, heavily. Oh, we've moved into a quite awesome era. Oh, yes, stand-up comedy has evolved so much. From stand-up comedy, we also now have the, have the content creators. Mm -hmm. So these ones give you comedy per second, per minute. What's the difference between a stand-up comic and a content creator? Also very clear. A stand-up comedian is that guy that has the ability to hold the microphone, stand in front of an audience, and crack jokes. Either in a set, use situations to talk about it. So there's an audience watching. You stand with your microphone, and you are cracking jokes for them. You know, situation, live. I'm a stand-up comedian. So I have opportunity to function on a lot of legs. I'm a proper stand-up comedian. Uh, I'm also a content creator. So a content creator is just someone that does content. So there's a video and camera in front of you, either via your phone or camera, where they edit. They do, some do edit, they do monologue. But this, there's no real audience. You're just doing it. Then you throw it on different digital platforms. So we're, we're, and the aim of both the stand-up comedian and the content creator that is a skit maker is humor. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can afford the big money for it. So we now have comedy in different versions. We've transited. Some people just watch the macaroni, the shaggy, the arole, the wole akbar. The remote guy. Mm -hmm. And some people still love the feel of stand-up comedy. They want to be in a show where Bovi is cracking jokes. So there's no, there's no competition? No! In fact, we're having more synergy. Oh, okay. So where if Bovi wants to do a show, he will do, to do a part of a show, he can feature a macaroni, a Mr. Funny. And there are some content creators that are also stand-up comedian. I fall under it. Sabinus falls under it. But there are not much. Mm -hmm. But most content creators will not dive into stand-up comedy because it's a craft on its own. You need to know your punchlines. Can it develop into that? Oh, so there's nothing that can be learned. Okay. Nothing. Somebody that's not a pastor can learn to be a pastor. That's called seminary. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that cannot be learned. But the difference there is that you can't compare an inborn comic, pe comic person okay. to someone that learned it. Mm. Yeah, you can't compare. You will know. This is natural. It just comes. We have cleaned the drunk. Spontaneous. Look at basketball. Look at a good. You see, there are some comedians when they come on stage before they laugh. You see, they're post way alone. <laughs> Danduki. We'll you are talking to me. Even in international scenes, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. you talk of you talk of Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Look at even when Chris Rock acts a movie. Look yeah, at Kelvin Hart. Yes. No matter the fact Kelvin that Hart. they write they write script for him, there are expressions. There are you just know that. Look at Eddie Murphy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So they are born for for such an act. You won't say anything. You're already laughing. You are laughing. <laughs> well, you mentioned something about um, prayer. Yeah. For I want to ask because I know that sometime early in say, like, this year you said you made a joke that you wanted to go on a five thousand hour prayer. Oh, oh, you saw that. I want to know: is there a possibility that you do that one day? Uh, so well, it might not be five thousand hours. But well, you are very much in the spirit. Who is this lady? <laughs> <laughs> you peek quickly. But, but funny enough, after that experience, I was just, it was, it was that the era of the uh, Guinness World Record. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. And, then I'm from a, and I had this religious part. I just put it out and it went very viral. In fact, times, uh, magazine took it up in the New York City. And they were like, oh, this is brilliant. Oh, a lot of time. Then, um, and for me, prayer for me is, this is why I take prayer. It's not, I don't look at prayer from a religious angle. It's a means to, to life. So I have the ability to commune with an unseen creature mm. that can stabilize the, the seen space. So it's, it's an intimate part for me. It's crucial. It's like oxygen. Mm. So myself and my team now said, so like from 2024, we're going to be in a place for, for 48 hours. Mm. And all we'll be doing is just pray for the nation, for people in business, for our lives, for careers, for everything. Yeah, we'll be doing it around February time. February, yeah. We'll just be there. We'll praise God a bit. We'll pray. Because... Some of us are a result of prayer. Our parents yes. prayed. We are here. Ah. Yes, yes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it. It, it, it. And, and, don't, and let me not shock you. People that say some funny things that, okay, look at America. They don't really pray that much. Look at the United Kingdom. Now, let me shock you. The fathers that founded those places had prayed ahead. Yeah. 
That was where revival broke up from. No, I had a question on that. You get what I'm saying? Spirit. You get what I'm saying? So don't tell me that did they live in America? Go and check those people that are missionaries. Mm -hmm. People had fasted for nations and say, God bless America. So what has proceeded? Even let, let, let me give you a science. Normally, if, if whichever faith that you have, either a Christian or a Muslim, mm -hmm. there's a power, potential power every human being has, the power of a thong. Do you know that if you just profess every morning, in 2024, and say this year is going to be good for me. Sir, so you don't need to be a priest. Be, yeah. Even if you don't go to church, or you are, you are, by the profession of your mouth, your mouth can begin to form an atmosphere. And you realize, that's prayer. Yeah. Okay, so something that went viral as well was your, will I say, online fight with Pastor Iren? <laughs> <laughs> you see, my pastor, you know, I'm celebrating. <laughs> I do sorry, yes. I had to say, you know, he used to think he's finer than me. What happened? Well, it's my hair cut. Well, you know, well. you know Pastor Irene. Yes, I'm, 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 I am a member of Celebration ah. Church. Well, <laughs> Pastor Irene. So I now sat there and now said that. Wait, do you, are you finer than me, Pastor Irene? Yes. Woman of God, is, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are a partial person. <laughs> it's because you attend Celebration Church. You know what Pastor Irene did? Eh? You know what? I went to Babylon yonder. You see this, my hair. I know that dry bone will rise. In. <laughs> that my hairline will rise. In. Amen. He now told me they helped me put dye hair. He commented. He said that this dye, when you bath, it will rub off. I say, sir, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At this point, uh, we will need to end this segment. But Olia really will be here with us at the end of uh, towards the end of the show. Sure. Thank you very much for joining us. Such an honor being here all the time. Thank awesome you. shout out to TVC. You. you guys are doing an amazing job. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Of course, that's the end of uh, the entertainment segment this morning. Sports is up next with um, Mike Mesikena. Stay tuned. <laughs>